Good morning students all. Last class we finished nuclei KCET problems up to 15. From the 16th problem onwards we will continue in this session. We will try to finish that all CET problems in this session. Okay. So 16th problem what they are asking C. A and B are the two radioactive elements. So a, B. These two are two radioactive elements. Okay. The nucleus of these two elements show a total activity of 1200 disintegrations per minute. So, activity of A we don't know. Activity of B we don't know. But combinedly they are giving an activity of 1200 disintegrations per minute. Half life of A is one day. So, a half life of A, TA will be one day. Half life of B, TB will be two days. Then, uh, what we have to find what will be the total activity after 4 days? Okay, initial total activity will be 1200. After 4 days, what is the total activity? We had to find the initial number of atoms in A and B are same. So, activity formula will be A is equal to lambda n. Lambda means 0 0.693 by T half into N. A N value will be same. They are having same number of nuclei. So A A by A B is equal to T B by T A. N constant. 0 0.693 constant. So T B value will be 2. T A value will be 1. So we will get A A is equal to 2 A B. Substitute this value here. So what we will get C. A A value will be 2 A B plus A B is equal to 1200. 3 A B is equal to 1200. AB value will be 400 disintegrations per minute. So, AA value will be 2AB na from 2 AA is equal to 2AB 2 into 400. So, AA is equal to 800 disintegrations per second. That is the initial activities of A and B. This is the initial activity of B. This is the initial activity of A. After 4 days, what is their activities? You calculate. Add the two activities. Then we will get the total value of activity after 4 days. So, what to do see here? After 4 days, I am assuming activity is AA dash. AA dash is equal to AA by 2 power small t by capital T. T will be half life. So, AA value will be 800 by 2. This will be 4 days. This will be 1. Half life of A will be 1. 800 by 16. So, AA dash is equal to 16 fives. This is 800 by 16. 16 fives are 80. So, AA dash becomes 50. AB dash if we calculate a b by 2 power small t by capital T this is 400 this is 4 days half life of b will be 2 
400 by 2 square means 4. So this value uh, 400 by 4 this is AB dash is equal to 100. Therefore final activity is equal to AA dash plus AB dash this value 50 we got this value 100 we got so 150 digit equations per minute so this will be the answer for it so what will be the option here means if you check 16th question it will be fourth option clear next see the 17th question what they are asking Seventeen binding energy per nucleon of deuteron duty deuteron is and helium atom are 1.1 mev and 7 mev two deuteron atoms fuse to form a single nucleus of helium atom then what is the total energy released two deuterons combined and form helium nucleus and some energy we had to find that energy so here energy released delta e is equal to here 4 into this 4 into 4 nucleons are there binding energy per nucleon for helium is 7 mev minus here 2 deuterons are there mass number 2 and each nucleon is having 1.1 mev so 28 2 to 4 into each nucleon is having 1.1 so this value will be 4.4 this value 23.6 mev so 17th question it will be third option next see the 18 what they are asking The relation between half-life and decay constant is what? Okay. So, T half is equal to log 2 base E by lambda. That is the relation. So, lambda T half or lambda T is equal to log 2 base E. Just formula they are asking 18th it will be third option next see the 19 what they are asking check a, a force between two protons is same as the force between proton and neutron the nature of the force will be strong nuclear forces. Uh, FPP, FPN, FNN, all are same means those are strong nuclear forces. 19th, it will be second option. Next. C20, radioactive decay can form an isotope of the original nucleus with the emission of particles then one alpha part isotopes means what c 20 1 h1 1 h2 1 h3 are isotopes 
Isotopes means what? How to remember this one easily? Tops are not the same. Those are called isotopes. Top what we are writing? Atomic number. If nu sorry, mass number. If nuclei having same atomic number, different mass numbers, those are called as the isotopes. EG remembrance how top. Tops are not the same. Those are called as the isotopes. So, one nuclei is there. It is emitting some particle. And finally, it converted as the isotope. What will be the options they are asking? First one, see. For example, parent nuclei. One alpha particle came. Then one daughter nuclei, atomic number decreases by 2 units, mass number decreases by 4 units, and one beta particle, one more nuclei this is, Z minus 2 plus 1, means it becomes minus 1, and uh, there will be no change in the mass number. These two are not isotopes because atomic numbers are not the same. So this is not the option. Second option if you take 1 alpha and 4 beta particles. P, Z, A. 1 alpha particle K means Z minus 2, A minus 4. 4 beta particles K means Atomic number will increase by 4 units. Z minus 2 plus 4, it becomes Z plus 2. So, D, Z plus 2, A minus 4. This is also not the answer because Z, Z plus 2, atomic numbers are not the same. Next, third one, P, Z, A. In this, 4 alpha particles came means 4 into 2, 8. 4 into 4, 16. And 1 beta particle is came. So, B, Z minus 7, A minus 16. These are not the answers. Next, P, Z, A. 1 alpha particle so, Z minus 2, A minus 4, 2 beta particles. So, Z, A minus 4. See, atomic numbers are same. Mass numbers are different. So, those are isotopes. So, what will be the answer for this means? Fourth option. Next. See the 21, what they are asking. Half-life of a radioactive substance is 20 minutes. Time taken between 50% decay and 87% decay. So, 100% will become 50% in half-life time. Half-life time is 20 minutes. In the next 20 minutes time, it becomes 25%. In the next 20 minutes time, it becomes 12.5%. 12.5% remaining means, uh, decade will be 87.5%. From 50% to decay to here, the remaining percent this is. Decayed percent will be how much? 50%. From 50% decay to 87.5% 87 decay, how much time it is taking means 20 plus 20, so it becomes 40 minutes. So, 40 minutes will be the answer for this. So, option for this will be 4th option. That is 21. Next. 
फिगर ट्वेंटी टू वॉट दे आर आस्किंग रेडियो न्यूक्लियस एट रेस्ट स्प्लिट्स इन टू टू न्यूक्लियर पार्ट्स हैविंग रेडियई वन इज टू रेडिये इन द रेशियो वन इज टू टू दे वेलोसिटीज रेशियो हियर वन न्यूक्लियस इज देयर इट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स देयर न्यूक्लियस देयर रेडियस रेशियो आर वन इज टू टू देयर वेलोसिटीज रेशियो विल बी व्हाट so here because their momentums will be equal m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 mass is equal to volume into density value 4 by 3 pi r cube these two are came from the same nuclei so their densities will be same only into v1 4 by 3 pi r2 cube d into v2 d d 4 by 3 4 by 3 will cancel v1 by v2 is equal to r2 by r1 whole cube uh, r1 by r2 is 1 by 2 means r2 by r1 will be 2 by 1 whole cube so this value 8 is to 1 so 22nd question second option will be the answer next 23rd question you see what they are asking <coughs> a radioactive sample has a half life of 10 days contains thousand x nuclei number of nuclei original nuclei present after 5 days n is equal to n not by 2 power small t by capital t this will be thousand x 2 power after 5 days half life will be 10 days Capital T will be half life. This is after five days. So thousand x by two power one by two means root two. Thousand x by root two. Write it as thousand as five hundred into two. Two root two times will cancel. So five hundred root two into x. 500 into 1.414 into x. If you multiply, 707 x will come. So 23, it will be fourth option. Next, 24. What they are asking see. A nucleus of mass 20 amu emits a gamma photon of energy 6 mev. If the emission assumes to occur when the nucleus is free and rest, then the nucleus will have kinetic energy nearest to. So here there is a nucleus. From this one gamma particle has came with some energy. Then this nucleus recoils back with some velocity. Find the kinetic energy of this nucleus. That is the question. Here law of conservation of linear momentum we will apply from law of conservation of linear momentum. Uh, momentum of gamma particle. Is equal to momentum of nucleus. Uh, gamma particle momentum will be E by C. Momentum of this one will be 2 m k. You have to find this k. Remember, this is 6 m e v. They gave you 
mev means 1.6 into 10 power minus 30 c value 3 into 10 power 8 they gave this value 20 amu they gave 1 amu is 1.6 into 10 power minus 27 into k 3 2 times will cancel so 2 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 27 is equal to 4 into 2 into 2 4 this 0 you multiply here 1.6 into 10 power minus 26 into k square on both sides what we will get c So if you square on both sides, 4 into 1.6 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 42. 4 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 26 into k. 1.6 will cancel, 4, 4 will cancel. k is equal to... 1.6 into 10 power minus 42 by 10 power minus 26. If you bring the cancels this one, 1.6 into 10 power minus 16 joules. But they are give the values in electron volt. Convert this Ke into electron volt. 1.6 into 10 power minus 16, 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 electron volt. This two will cancel. 10 cube electron volt. 10 cube means 1 kilo. So it becomes 1 kV. So option for this 24th question will be option. Okay. Next. 25. What they are asking is an element x decays into element z by two step process x to y by giving alpha particle, y to z by giving two particles. So x and z will be isotopes. 20th problem we discussed na, just now. So same model, one alpha particle and two beta particles means x and z will be isotopes. 25, it will be first option. 26. The particles emitted in the decay of uranium 92 238 to uranium 92 234 so here also you have to check uranium 238 92 it becomes uranium 234 92 isotopes uh, mass number increases decreases by 4 units there is no change in the atomic number made 1 alpha particles, 2 beta particles will be there. Check all the options. Uh, no option you will get as the answer. Modify the fourth option. 1 alpha, 2 beta particles. Like that, modify the fourth option. So that will be the answer for it. Printing mistake is there. 26, it will be fourth option. Next. 27 what they are asking mass defect is given binding energy per nucleon delta m into 931.931 931 you take okay by mass number is 4 they give for helium, helium 24. 
So this is 0 0.03 into 931 by 4. Calculate this one. Finally, you will get the answer 96.9882. MEV okay 27 it will be first option okay next 28 what they are asking in a nuclear reactor the function of the moderator is to decrease the speed of the neutrons. 28 it will be second option. 29. The energy equivalent to a substance of mass 1 gram e is equal to mc square. Mass is 1 gram. C value 3 into 10 power 8 whole square, 9 into 10 power 13 joules, 10 power 16, 10 power minus 3, it becomes 10 power 13 joules, 29, it will be second option. Next, see the 30. What they are asking me. Half life is uh, of tritium is 12.5 years. What mass of tritium of initial 64 mg will remain undecayed after 50 years? 64 grams of tritium is there mg. 64 mg will convert into 32 mg after 12.5 years after one more 12.5 years it becomes 16 mg 16 mg after 12.5 years it becomes 8 mg 8 mg becomes 4 mg after 12.5 years 4 12.5 means 50. After 50 years, this 64 mg will convert as 4 mg. Okay. So, what will be the option means 30? It will be 4 option. Next. 31c. What they are asking. <clears throat> End product of thorium 232 90 is lead 82 208. The number of alpha and beta particles emitted are respectively thorium 90 232 converts as lead 208 82. <laughs> Then how many particles? You have to check all the options. So first three three gave ma. So thorium 90 to 32. Three alpha particles are came. And suppose lead is only formed like that, you can spell no problem. 90 minus 6 means um, 84. Um, 3 fourths are 12, so it becomes 220. Again, 3 beta particles are in means, it becomes 87, it becomes 220 only. Not matching it. These two are not same. Next, 6 alpha particles, 4 beta particles. Thorium 90, 232. 6 alpha particles. 6 twos are 12. It becomes 78. 90 minus 12 means 78. 
6 fourths are 24. If you subtract from this, it becomes 208. 4 beta particles. So let 78 plus 4, 82. It will be 298. These two are matching. So this will be the answer. You have to check each and every option. Then you will get the answer. 31, it will be second option. Next, last question, 32. What they are asking is two protons are kept at a distance of two protons are with distance between them will be 10 nanometer 10 into 10 power minus 9 meter 10 power minus 8 meter the nuclear force between them will be fn electromagnetic force between them will be fe which will be more generally what we will learn Nuclear forces are much stronger than electromagnetic forces. But nuclear forces will come into action when the distance between the nucleons is less than 0.5 Fermi. When the distance between the two protons is less than 0.5 into 10 power minus 15 meter then only nuclear force will be greater than electromagnetic force. But here distance of how much they gave? 10 power minus 8 meter. At this distance, nuclear force's magnitude will be much less than electromagnetic forces. So electromagnetic forces will be stronger so what will be the correct option for this is Fe 2 greater than Fn. So 32 it will be second option. Okay. So we will confine this session today and the remaining neat problems we will try to finish in the two sessions. Okay.